Hello, uh, welcome to a video where we're looking at set order or cardinality. Of course, order and cardinality are different words for the same thing. Okay, now if you haven't watched the first video, uh, my introduction to sets and notation, uh, please click here. Uh, now we're going to move into the video. Okay, so set order or cardinality is represented in the following way. Like this. So if we have set A, uh, then when we have represent A represented like this, uh, we're we're referring to the cardinality or order of A. Okay, so for finite sets, Okay, so what are we denoting? We're denoting the number of elements. That's what order or cardinality is, is the number of elements or members, the size of the set. Very simple, the size of the set. So, for example, uh, so if we take, for example, uh, set A uh, equal to one uh, fish, an apple, because I'm quite hungry, uh, then the order or the cardinality, whichever word you prefer, is equal to three because we have one, two, three elements in the set A. Um, now, what happens if we have repetitions? Well, typically we ignore the repetitions, so I'll do another example. We have set A equal to mathematics. So how many repetitions can we see here? One, two, three. So we can rewrite the set. Apologies. We had a little bit of a uh, filming issue there, uh, just to uh, confirm what we've what we've done since is we finished here where we counted there were three uh, repetitions in the set of mathematics so we rewrite the set A uh, without the repetitions we count the number of elements or members of the set A and there are eight so we can write that the order or cardinality of set A is equal to eight